We out here, we're trying to do something good for the community. You, we're gonna have this, the fucking weed paste and this fucking garbage here, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wants Just, to do a mural here, man. Cool. Trust me. Everybody. Gets yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day. Here, check this out. It's all free, man. We're not asking for shit. We got the paint, we got the materials. We here doing this community service. Heard you guys out. Answer is no. Sorry. So it's 4.50 a.m. and we're about to go paint a mural without permission. Heading to the spot right now. We're about to pull up, see what's good. He's gonna scrape the walls while I start sketching it out. And hopefully, this goes down without a hitch. He's Menace. I'm Ressa. We're trying to paint as many illegal murals as we can. Our objective is to tie together the worlds of graffiti and street art. So the difference between graffiti and street art is that graffiti focuses more on letter form, and it's usually people putting up their names as much as possible in the craziest spots, while street art is more like fine art on the street. I went to college and studied art history and did a little painting on the side. The contemporary art market is just based on what rich people say is good art or bad art. I didn't want to be a part of that. I wanted to do my own thing, and I felt like street art was the best way to do the opposite of that. Every day I was going to work, I was a tech slave, and I would just be thinking about graffiti. It became a stress relief. It became a way for me to escape. I had no idea that I could do this for a living until I met her. A run-up is an illegal mural. We'll try to get there really, really, really early. That way, by the time like a business owner comes out or re realizes his wall is being painted, it'll be more developed and start to look like something interesting so yeah, that they so, want us to continue. Yeah, like, that, oh, you and, know what I mean? And having the Photoshop mock-up makes it look really legit. Yeah, just like, you oh, know, this yeah. is what it's going to yeah, look, look, look like. Look, look at this Photoshop mock-up. Yeah. This is going to look so good. You know, like, yeah. cops, they see that, they're like, all right, no doubt. Some cops just pulled up, but nah, they just went to go get some pizza. It's chill. This is kind of gentle compared to what I used to do. We're, like, out here doing community service, you know what I'm saying? The cops want to arrest us for this shit. I would imagine they have better things to do. I've been arrested a lot of times, and I'm trying to not be arrested anymore. You know, if you're a graffiti writer, and you, you come in, you, oh, you know, I want to catch a tag, they mostly would do it, like, right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, up to here. So the bottom is where I need to protect, you know what I'm saying? Mural busting is a problem. So, like, what I try to do is I try to protect her street art with my letters. And then, in turn, she'll protect my graffiti from being arrested by the police. Because when we do our thing, if the cops roll up and they see, you know, a girl on a ladder with paint all over the sidewalk and, like, you They'll know, just assume Yeah, they'll be like, oh, yeah, no this problem. is... Obviously, it's legal. Sometimes I feel like the graffiti writers think they're better than the street artists, and the street artists think they're better than the graffiti artists. And the way graffiti writers see it is like, oh, like, street artists are just soft, like, kids who went to college for art, went to art school, and now they're doing this to be trendy and popular. So that's how I feel like, is that accurate? It's like, yo, like, we're out here, like, bombing, like, getting arrested, and doing all this wild shit to, like, make this art form what it is. And here come these art school kids with their fancy paint, making money off this culture that we as graffiti writers had to put blood, sweat, and tears and like time to create. That's a little bit annoying. There doesn't have to be such a great divide between these two subcultures. Like they could come together and that's what I think we represent. Are you having fun? Ugh. I can't believe I spent three hours doing this shit. I make him do all the grunt work. But we wanted to be out here super duper early so that by the time people were outside and if the owner were to come by, we wanted a lot of it to be done. The owner hopefully will be intrigued enough to let us 
rocked. You guys uh, thinking of doing a mural here? Huh? We are doing a mural here. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. Here, check this out. This is what we got going on. I do, what I do is I do letters on the bottom, right? So that people that are walking, that are like street level, like graffiti writers, if they see the graffiti, they'll be like, okay, that's graffiti, I can't touch that. And then she'll rock the top, right? With She's rocking the top with these portraits. It says coexist. A lot of other walls around here. It's just not one you can do. So, sorry. Oh. All right, well, thanks, guys. Sorry. What's your name? I don't want to give my name. I kind of want to just continue after he leaves. Nah, they all going to be here. He's going to come out and call the cops on us if we do that. He said that? I know it. The guy that lives, the guy that in, this lives building. in this building just came out and... We don't know if he's the owner yeah, or anything. Yeah, not sure if he's the owner, but he told us that he didn't want art here and he wanted to curate it better or some shit like that. It's okay. It's okay, babe. Ma. We told him that we were doing this for the community and that he was going to get it for free and we were already doing it. And he was like, nah, I'd rather have this fucking garbage, so... You know, what can we do? We are native New Yorkers. We try to paint every piece with the spirit of the community surrounding it in mind. We try to incorporate everybody and not right. alienate anybody so that everybody can enjoy it. We're trying to do shit with good intentions here, so I don't want to be too petty about this. We just got to figure out another place to put this mural. you know? Yeah. Last week, we were caught by someone who lived in the building we were painting, and he really didn't like that we were painting without permission. So we so... had to change spots, and yeah. here we are. <laughs> so this is attempt number two. Being able to do illegal walls, you know, and like get away with it and have the nerve to do it, it just gives us that edge, you know? It like allows us to to find better walls, to do walls that other artists might not be able to do because they couldn't create the opportunity. The main intention of what we do is to spread love, make people's day, and we try to, you know, don't harm anybody in the process, you know? So if someone is like, yo, stop painting my wall, and they come out and they're like fucking upset, you know, we'll leave you alone. You know, we're not gonna be assholes about that shit because at the end of the day, it's your wall. No, we're doing this out of pocket. This is free. Yeah, this is free. our money, our materials. Back to the community. Oh, this is the only this thing? thing that makes us happy in life, honestly. And um, we just you want to. You for yourself to be happy. Yeah, for well, everyone to be happy, happy the community to we'll be happy. So the property owner came out, asked us, uh, who gave us permission. We told them the truth that we just came. And we, we told and then them, we saw we, we were like stalking this spot for months now and just like noticing that no one was doing anything and like we just wanted to paint it and he so. asked for our card and went on his merry way. That's so it. I think we're good. He didn't seem that angry to you didn't No, he was pretty chill about it. I think yeah. he realized he was winning. Oh. Yeah, he was like, Oh, I get free art of my shit, great, fantastic. Our intention is to make things yeah. look better, but also to be kind of like signs from God to random people who might be in whatever. Who need like, like inspiration yeah, or something. Yeah, you know, like imagine you're just feeling shitty and you all come across a mural that, you know, tells you to stay positive and it resonates with you. Like that right there is like using this medium for something other than, you know, ourselves. If we stay grounded in that intention, like whatever happens is supposed to happen.